hello everybody and welcome to your next uh, uh, C++ Made Easy tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be learning about a very uh, important uh, uh, concept and I would say it's like the base, the foundation of any programming language. Uh, every programming language has these, uh, you need it no matter what. Uh, well, I, I'll s I won't, yeah, they all have it, uh, not like markup language like HTML, but majority of programming languages have this, and because, uh, because it's so important, uh, and what, ver uh, what variables are, is variables are, uh, just like in math class, variables are hold values, right? So, have you ever been in math class, and they'll, you'll have a math equation saying like x plus y? And they'll say uh, let x equal three and y equals four. What's x plus y? And then um, the answer will be seven, right? Uh, the same goes for programming. So uh, a lot of things are going to be stored in variables, like HP. If you have like a, if you're making a video game, like HP. Uh, maybe if you're doing a calculator or something, you want to store some value that the player inputted or or whatnot. You need to store that in a variable, right? Now, how variables uh, work in, in C++ is that we have different variable types. Now, uh, the main ones you're probably going to run into are int, float, double, or bool. Now, there are others. There's long, there's long int, there's volatile, there is, like, how much? I'm not really... I know I'm missing a lot, but those four are the main ones that you're going to be using. Why? Uh, uh, because mainly you're going to be using like a. Uh, oh yeah, there are. If you the other uh, the other main ones that you're probably going to use as well is char, and if we include strings, then you'll have strings as well. Strings are a whole other different topic and could take like five to ten tutorials just talking about. The different things you can do with strings so that will be uh much later on in this tutorial series but uh for now uh we're just going to be looking at uh the the regular variable type so uh the int variable type is stands for integer so as we know an integer is a whole number whether it be negative one one ten five uh negative one hundred any whole number no decimal places a float is a floating point number so it could take any number within a certain range it is an 8-bit number it's an 8-bit variable right so I don't memorize the range but uh, we have uh, you can do any uh, variable uh, any number numerical value whether it be a decimal or whole number uh, so uh, uh, if after we after float we have double and double, I think, uh, is a 16-bit number. Don't really quote me on that. Uh, you could search that up if you want to really know the size. But it is like floats, but it is uh, it's two times. It can hold two times the larger number. In most cases, you will be using floats because they take up less space in memory, therefore uh, better for your program. But if for whatever reason you need a, a really large number or a function takes a double or whatever, then you'll be using it. Now we also have bool. Uh, boole a uh, bool stands for boolean, and boolean is either true or false. So one for true, zero for false. But we have uh, we get stated as true or false, and uh, we have char. Now char is a single character, whether it be like a, b, c, d, like any any character. Uh, uh, whatever that you um input. So uh, before we even get into like naming variable types, we should know that uh variables can either be signed or unsigned. By default, uh, variables are signed, and what a signed variable means is that it can, uh, for like uh variables like int and and stuff like that, it means that it could have a negative or a positive value, right? So, say for example, uh, floats can by default can range from negative a thousand to positive a thousand. That would be like the the range that you have for signed. Now, uh, a variable can also be unsigned, and what unsigned means is that it can uh, it can only be positive, but it will have a greater range of positive. 
So say float had negative a thousand to a thousand, uh, maybe an unsigned float would have from zero to two thousand or maybe more, right? So if you only were working with positive values, then you could declare it as unsigned if you really needed a larger numerical value. It's up to you. So by default, uh, variables are signed, but uh, if you if you want them to be unsigned, what you would do is you put unsigned the variable type then the variable name. Okay. Now uh, there there's there's some rules uh, when naming variables. Okay. So first of all, a variable name cannot start with a number. Okay. It cannot have any special character like any of these. The only special character it can have is an underscore. Okay. Uh, th there might be others, but the only the only special character you'll see is an underscore, right? Uh, I you can have numbers and stuff after, but it cannot begin with a number. It has to be within the statement, okay? Uh, so those are the few naming uh things I know. Uh, no commas. Oh, and the last thing that we should say that it cannot be. Uh, it cannot include or it cannot be any other name that is default with C++. So, for example, if we look at this right here, namespace, that is defined with C++. So, I cannot name a variable namespace. You will get an error, okay? So, those are the three things, the three rules that you have to look out for. So, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two numbers together, okay? So, I'm going to make an integer and I'm going to say... Uh, int I'm going to say number one okay now notice that when we uh, declare our variables right uh, we end it with a semicolon let us know that's the end of that statement okay and uh, we're going to be making another f we're gonna make a float and number two and the reason why I'm doing this I'm going to be showing you something right so there's different ways that we can uh, um, declare our value uh, to our variables. So we could either do it on the same lines. So we could say uh, int number two is equal to uh, two, or we could say it's equal to whatever, or we could uh, simply add a semicolon, then reference it, say number one is equal to whatever. So we can uh, set it to whatever we want later, right? Uh, so this is called declaring a variable and um, when we do it we uh, give a value to our variable right here okay oh, number one okay so for if you say add in a decimal value to it it will just round it up to a whole number okay uh, that's how integers work now uh, f if you for float value it, you will get a default value by default so let's say let's do 0 0.5 plus um, uh, and we'll give this value 2.5 okay what we're going to do now is we're going to use our C out statement and we're going to say number one plus number two and we're going to say uh, sorry and then we're going to put end L end it with a semicolon oh sorry I added an actual one by accident oh it's gonna run what we had before uh, okay uh, so let's run this Oh, I it opened and closed quick because we got rid of sin dot get. I know it's taking me long for me to build it because of yeah. So uh, notice that see what the integers do is that sorry I said it rounds up it will round it down to the whole number right. But if we add an integer to a floating point value, then it will cast it or what is called casting it to a floating point value, and then we will get um, a floating point value that we see over there right so uh that that's just one thing to be aware of if you ever do that if you want to if you wanna if you only want to add whole numbers and um add in whole numbers so right now i'm just going to be saying another one uh int number two and we're going to say it's equal to two so if we add them we should get the number three so as you see we get the number three so now uh say we didn't want to add them within this statement right here so you wanted to add them to a variable first to do it we can do that so we can have another variable we can call it results 
and we could say results is equal to number one plus number two and then all we had to do is just print the results to the screen and we should get the number three as well okay uh, so I'm going to end that uh, tutorial with uh, variables and stuff uh, as for boolean uh, quickly if we have a boolean value like uh, uh, like again or whatever and we could say we could say it's either true or we could say it's either false uh, but for chars and stuff, I'm going to be making a separate tutorial on chars itself or one or two because chars can uh, confuse a lot of people when we get char do char arrays and stuff. So after we learn about arrays, then we will get into chars. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thanks for watching and bye.